blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, I beg and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. Lord, I pray they be your words, not my words. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want us to uh, all keep in prayer these people affected by this terrible hurricane on the East Coast. And we need you to, to pray hard for them. And if you have anything that you can donate, clothing, non-perishable food, anything, as many of these people, they, they have nothing. The children of Israel were commanded by God to reap for six years the land, but on the seventh year, they were to have a Sabbath for the land and not till, plant, or harvest the land. God would give them increase for six years, but on the seventh year, they were not to harvest the land or anything of the land. But eventually, they forgot this law, and they harvested all seven years. And this was about the time that Israel went into chasing after false gods, and they forgot their God of Israel, the one who freed them from bondage out of Egypt. After uh, many years of this, God finally, he finally punished Israel for its abominations, for sacrificing their babies to false gods, for making uh, images of false gods and worshiping them instead of the one true living God of Israel. Leviticus 25, 2-5 Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord. Six years shalt thou sow thy field, and six years shalt thou prune thy vineyard, and gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year thou shalt be a Sabbath of rest unto the land, a Sabbath for the Lord. Thou shalt neither sow thy field, nor prune thy vineyard. That which groweth is of its own accord, of thy harvest thou shalt not reap, neither gather the grapes of the vine, undressed, for it is a year of rest under the land. So then God punished Israel, and he let their enemy, the Babylonians, conquer them and destroy their temple, and they killed many. But there was a remnant who were taken as slaves back to Babylon. Uh, Jeremiah 25, 11 and 12. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment, and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. And it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, saith the Lord, for their iniquity and the land of the Chaldeans and will make it a perpetual desolation. So why 70 years? Well, that was what was owed God for the Sabbath of the land. One out of every uh, seven years was a Sabbath for the land to, to let the lay, land lay fallow. So God... He got his seven-year Sabbath for the land. And 70 years is what was owed God, and 70 years is what God got. And these Jews that followed and served strange and false gods, God let them serve with rigor new taskmasters for 70 years. If they refused to serve God, the true living God, then they would serve brutal new taskmasters. God got his due. God got what was, what was owed to him. So what about America? The Holy Spirit comes to me and tells me that America owes God, and God will now collect what is due God, as just what was due God from ancient Israel. We will not humble, humble ourselves to God, then God will humble America and every American to the ground. We will not dress in sackcloth, repent, and pray, so God will put it. Uh, America in rags, the same as sackcloth. God will bring America and every American low. We have lived proud, overindulged, wasted so very much, thrown away what could feed uh, uh, several families. We have not even said a blessing over our food. God will take away our food, make it very expensive, make it rare. Then God will take even that away. God will get his fast from every American. If we refuse, God still gets his sackcloth 
God will put every American in rags, and God will get his fast, even if we refuse. God still gets his due. Some will return to the one true living God, the God of Israel, but most will not. They will, they will refuse and still chase after false gods that cannot speak, hear, walk, talk, and breathe, and most of all, answer prayers. Some will have a stiff neck and refuse the truth, but God has more anguish for them. This world, it is falling apart. And are you sure at this late hour you will not come to the saving grace of Jesus Christ? He loves you, and he only wants you safe, and he wants you to come home with him. Please do not follow wolves in sheep's clothes who tickle your ears, but lead you straight to hell with false doctrine, a doctrine of demons such as once saved, always saved, who use false Bibles, not inspired by God, and they are not holy and not the word of God. Remember, they change many thousands of words, and they delete whole verses from their fake Bibles. And you change one word, you change the whole meaning many times. Remember Revelation 22, 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if, and if any man shall take away the words of the, of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things that are written in this book. That book is the 1611 King James Bible and our King James Bible. And that is why they are attempting to ban that book because it, because it is the word of Almighty God. And that is why we are asking people to leave King James Bibles in their local hospital waiting rooms, doctor's offices, waiting rooms uh, near them. And we have King James Bibles on DVD in plastic cases that you can leave a small stack in restaurants and almost any business you, you visit. And we will send you these King James Bibles for free just for the asking. At this late hour, will you not do a little work for God? After all, look what Jesus did for you. If the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this ministry, then all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit. And God bless you mightily for this missionary work for the Lord. And God bless you mightily for supporting this work and helping us buy Bibles and to pay the postage for all that we mail out. We send out the Word of God all over the world. So your gift will help place King James Bibles in waiting rooms and businesses around the world. And we even mailed a King James Bible to Saudi Arabia. Our time is short. Our time is very short. Just look at the world and the birth pains. Our calamities are now on top of each other with much more to come. Much more to come. Will you not do a little work for the Lord or support God's work? Now praying for America is like praying for a dead man. America is gone, and no politician can save us. Only saving now is the people, and that is what we are trying to do. Now is the time to come to Jesus, as nothing else can save us. Now it is too late. Will you pray with me? Most merciful Heavenly Father, I come before you broken, with nothing to hide, humble and sincere. I pray in the name of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. I am a sinner in need, of, in need of a Savior, and I admit I am a sinner, and I deserve punishment. But your precious blood, Lord, washes away sin, the blood you shed for me and others, and the life you freely gave for me to redeem me back to God the Father. I repent of all my sin. I recognize Jesus as the Son of God who walked this earth as God in the flesh, who healed the sick, raised the dead, and cast out demons, who shed his blood for me and who died on that old wooden cross for me. And who was buried on, but on the third day he arose from the, from the grave and he walked this earth again inside of men. And Jesus ascended up to heaven inside of men. And now Jesus sits on the right hand of the Father awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. My God is alive and my God returns one day soon to take his faithful remnant home with him. I pray to be counted worthy to be part of that remnant. I pray Jesus enter, enter my heart and give me a new heart. 
I pray for Jesus to be with me, to protect me, and lead me and guide me every step of every day. I pray to be saved and washed clean by your precious blood, Lord. I pray the blood of Jesus protects me from all evil. I offer myself up as a living sacrifice to you, Lord, every single day. Jesus gave everything for me. He held nothing back. He gave it all. He gave everything. Please forgive me of all my sins. Wash me clean in the blood of Jesus and put my feet upon your path. And I pray your will be done. Not my will, but your will. Your will be done, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The only way to survive what is to come is to not be here, as in being raptured. I do all that I do to get back into those loving arms of Jesus again, where I belong, and where you belong as well. We will see you on the streets of pure gold in paradise, walking beside the crystal sea, and we will see you there. We will see you there on that day, and we will see Jesus face to face. And we will see the nail holes in his hands and his feet, and the terrible scars on his back. We will see the price that God paid to redeem us, and only then will we realize just how much God really loves us. And where he will be is where we will be forevermore. And young glorified bodies, forever young, no pain, no suffering, everything perfect. And we will be perfect as God is perfect. And we will see you there in that day. And we keep you in yours and our prayers. Every one of you, every single one of you have been a gift from God to us in this ministry. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. Every day every day that we have here is a gift from God. Use it wisely. Use it wisely. And be sure to pray. Be sure to pray and repent. And, and, and say the blessing. Say the blessing over your food. And what does it hurt to carry a Bible with you? I carry a Bible with me almost everywhere I go. I have some people ask me if I'm a preacher and I tell them no. Just a lowly watchman with dreams and visions. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. God bless each and every one of you. We keep all of you in our prayers. And we love you all so very, very much. Amen.